hola and bienvenidos welcome to my channel so i just wanted to give you guys a little tour of what's going on not really a complete tour but just to show you what's going on in the garden right now so let's go this is what i am particularly super excited about when i first put this on i wanted it to because it's coming out of here I wanted it to vine up on this. This is just an old um, closet shelf that I saw, and I wanted to put it up so that it would vine on there, and it's vi it vine beautifully, beautifully. But look at the flowers. I will have peas shortly, and it is super windy, guys. I know y'all can hear it, but let me show y'all just how windy it is. Okay, of course it calms down when I'm about to show you, but y'all can see the greenhouse cover moving. But anyway, yeah, so I'm super happy about that. And it was cool, but then it started getting hot. And so, look at this. Why is this bolting? This is crazy. And we have a frost warning in effect. So, I'm just gonna snip this off. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my butter crunch. I've been eating off of this and my mini romaine. And we got this here. This is the, um, let me see, what is this? Oh, nah. Is that it? I think I got the wrong one. Nope, those are the peas. This is the, uh, this says Wendy's lettuce. Let me see. Yeah. And this one here is the, that's the broccoli Romanesco. So yeah, we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. Um, over here, I keep spraying, but something is eating it and I can't find it. I've been expect, inspecting my leaves and everything and something keeps getting to it. This one down here is safe for now, and this is safe for now, so I don't know. This bed is kind of going slow. I've got onion here, onion there, carrots, and more peas. But that's spinach, and it's growing very slow. And this is the uh, peas. And I put this here so it would climb on here. And I grew this a, uh, a few weeks after I grew this one. So now let me take you over to here. These are radishes. I forgot what variety. Let's uh, pull some up. Look. So not your regular red radishes, you see. Here goes some right here. I gotta look it up. And you can eat the leaves on the radishes too, guys. I'm gonna plant some more. Let's see what's going on here. Nope, that one's not ready. I'm just gonna stick it right back down in there. Here's one. Here's a little one. It's okay. I'll take it. I'll just cut these up and put them in my salad. Let's see if we got anything else down here. No, it doesn't look like it, but that's okay. Let me pick these, clean out these leaves. don't think anything else is ready all right let's go on over here those are the tom thumb peas and this is the spinach the noble spinach so you just see little babies over there 
come over here. It's looking pretty good over here. And look, finally getting some nice little leaves over here. That's some mint. But this looks really good. Really good. This is the uh, cabbage. Look at that. I love it. Here goes some more cabbage. And these are potatoes. Potatoes. And some spinach. Yep. And over here, carrots. Well, they are doing pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. These are my fava beans. I wish they were doing better, guys, but it's okay. So these are a little bit too close, but it's okay. So we got carrots coming up. Let me show you this. It's so crazy because no matter how much you know about gardening, there's always something that you don't know. And here's something that I don't know. I had no idea... Um, how this would grow because it's my first year so let me just show you this this is my red ruby grapefruit i didn't know it was gonna grow in clumps like that and then we got some down here and i was hoping i i, I see this but i wasn't gonna worry too much but this is it from this side you got more over here so what I wanted what I was doing is I was looking particularly at this the cold hardiness. Now, the reason why I was doing that is because we're supposed to get some very cold weather tonight and tomorrow. So I'm really concerned about my tree, my pear tree here, my pear tree there. Um I really want to make sure that they're okay. So what I've been doing is just going and checking all of my tags. So this says 20 to 10 degrees. So this is going to be okay. And this is my Baldwin pear. And this one over here is my Kiefer pear. So that one is 10 to 20. And this one is negative 20 to negative 30. So they're going to be okay. And of course, the grapefruit, as we already saw, is 32 degrees. That's the one that I'm most concerned with. So I'm going to try to um, keep it warm as much as possible, but not too warm. So what I'm going to do is put some cardboard around this. Um, and inside the cardboard, I'm going to stuff it with some old sheet and then I'm going to throw some leaves on top of here because the most important thing is to protect the roots. If the roots are okay, then generally your tree will be fine. It's when those roots are damaged and die off that you can't save your tree. So I need to get to that. I still have the things in the greenhouse that I was uh, protecting and hopefully they will be okay. I'll go and see how they're doing. I'm going to, um, I have my trees in there that are not hardy at all. For example, my guava tree, that cannot survive. Oh, I, have, I forgot about this tree over here. Let me show you this tree. This is my other grapefruit tree. This is another red ruby grapefruit. It has nothing on there, guys, but the leaves look beautiful, beautiful. And this one is a little bit taller than my other tree, but uh, I need to put that in a bigger pot like I did the other one. And maybe that's why that one is doing better. So, yeah, let me show you my apple tree. So, this is my Anna apple and it says it is cold hardy down to zero to negative 10. So you're gonna be fine. This is my apple tree. So it'll be fine. And here is 
the other apple tree, which is my Red Delicious. And this one says it is cold hardy to negative 30 to negative 20. So, a little bit of leaf there and a few up there. So, I'm not going to worry about it. Again, this one also needs to be um, put in a larger pot. I'm probably going to put it in that pot there, which I believe is a 15 or 17 gallon. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So here is the Red Delicious. This one I'm not worried about because as you see, the cold hardiness is negative 30 to negative 20. And again, it's a small pot, so I need to put it in this larger one, which is a 15 to 17. So we'll see how that does. And I was worried about these babies, but they are going to be just fine. Right, my darlings? Hi, my girls. You see how big they're getting? Yes. Yes. How are you? You good? They're so sweet. They're so sweet. I'm going to give them some water and make sure that they are okay with that. They are doing well with their grandpa feeder. We are on the last stage where we're going to pull that screw out and they'll be able to um, step on it and get their food themselves. It's a process to train them to do it. Y'all want that lemon balm, don't you? Usually when I come out, I give them lemon balm. So anytime I come near the fence, I think that they're expecting a lemon balm. So let me go into the greenhouse and get them some. Okay, so everything in here, as you can see, is all wrapped up under this this uh, extra greenhouse cover from last year. And then it's inside the actual greenhouse. So let me uh, look at this. Look at how nice everything in there looks. Can you see that? So let's get them some lemon balm. They love it. And herbs are good for them. So... I always make sure I give them some. I just snip off a few and look at how well my lemon balm is doing. That is just like, to me, having the greenhouse is really worth it because I can overwinter things. Some things, some things do better than others. Okay, got the lemon balm. Look at that ginger over there. Yep, that's the kiwi tree. Everything looks really good. Watch this. Come on down here. Come on over here. I'm gonna get some more. So they said we were gonna have, we had a freeze warning last night and we got it. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Look at that. It went down to 31 degrees. But this will be okay. So this is our first frost of the year. First frost of the year, guys. It went down to 31 degrees last night. 31. They say it's better when that frost hits them, so we'll see. 
Look at that. 